Hey, this is Michael Brent Collings. I'm the author of Grim World, The Witch in the Woods, and I'll be reading a page a day with my real, not at all paid actor kids. Say hi, real kids. Hi. <laughs> We're gonna be doing this a page a day until it goes viral. I reach 100 pages or I get tired, whichever comes first. So please don't forget to share, like, comment, all that stuff, and help us go viral for Grim World, The Witch in the Woods, which releases March 5th, 2024. Mom and Dad held out their phones, and Cop Bot 2 waved a hand over them. The app is now installed. Please consult the app if you have any questions about things in the town or to report any emergencies or any unusual sights. With that, Copbot 2 clanked away down the street, pausing by a car parked in a red zone. Copbot 2's jaw unhinged, but instead of a tongue, a long slip of paper spiraled out. The policeman bit down, tore the paper off, and then taped the ticket to the hood. Dad shook his head. I don't think it's going to get more unusual than that. Dad was wrong. <laughs> Jake tried not to stare as he walked down the street and saw in quick succession two more floating cars, a man flying through the town with a jetpack, and an elegantly dressed woman walking what looked like a dog made of jello. Walking a bit farther, they passed a fast food restaurant where everyone in the drive-thru was riding electric unicycles. Just across from where another cop bought, presumably cop bot one because of the big NMPD-01 on its chest, was directing traffic both of floating and non-floating varieties. Cop bot one stood in front of a giant decorative marble fountain, but instead of shooting jets of water into the air, this fountain blew brightly colored bubbles, which danced in intricate patterns before each popped with a musical tone that together played a variety of popular songs, mostly by boy bands.